What's up guys, Reese here from Reese3D.com. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple skull in Photoshop. We're going to use Photoshop 2020, so if you have other versions, there might be slight differences in the way you create it. So let's just go ahead and expand this work area just to have more space for creating our skull. Now I'm going to start with the uh, basic shape here with the circle. So let me just create an ellipse here. And when I create the ellipse, it is actually going to be in a new layer. So I want to make sure that I have a white color as the fill color. So let me just pick here white. And then for the stroke, I'm going to make sure that it is black. Cool. So we need to get this um, outside shape here. So let me just start by drawing here. Right from the center I started and I need to press the Alt key to actually center uh, the, the starting point. So now I can press Shift to make sure that it is a perfect uh, circle. So I think that's fine. And I want to actually make this thickness or stroke thickness to be a bit higher. Not that much. I think around 30 should be fine. So 30 pixels. Perfect. So now from here, I just want to make these other shapes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add more shapes here. So to add more shapes, all I need to do is just go here. Instead of new layer, I'm going to choose combine shapes. So here we are and we have uh, we need to create this shape and we need to create this area also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click here right in, right here in the center then drag it out and again I can press alt key so that will basically expand like so. I think that's perfect. I'm going to leave it as it is. So what, what you can see is it actually extends that entire shape here. Now what I can do is I can actually take the uh, direct selection tool here. And I can just select this point and I can adjust that point. It says that the operation will turn a live shape into a regular path. That's fine. We're going to say yes. So now I can just pull this up a bit more and I can also adjust these points here. So let's say I want to do something like that and I can do the same thing here on this side. Now you can see that this corner is not uh, the way as I want it to be here, right? So what I can do here is I can also adjust some parameters here for the stroke. So I can just go up here and click on the stroke options here. And from here, I just want to decide how the corners should look. So if I just go here and change it into a soft one, so you can see that it becomes soft. And that's exactly what we wanted here. That looks perfect. Now what I want is I want to also add a rounded rectangle here. So what I can do is I can just go back to the shape here and rounded rectangle tool. And I think 10 pixels should be fine. If it is not, we could just always change that later. So I'll go here again. And from new layer, let's just make sure that we want to combine these two different shapes. So now I can again, Start right from here and press the Alt key. That's it. So that's exactly what we wanted. I'm going to just relax, leave it here. Yes, there you go. So if you think that the uh, roundness is not enough, I can just press Control Z to undo that shape. And I want to get back to the radius here and I'll make this to be 20. I think that should be fine. So again, I'm going to start from the center. Okay, so press Alt and just drag it over here. I think that looks perfect. There you go. So if you want to have more, I think I should have more. Maybe I'll make this 30 pixels. And again, I'm going to draw here from the center. Alt. And that's it. Perfect. So that's exact shape that I wanted. So now the other thing that I want to do is I also want to have um, 
these two little teeth kind of appearance to show up here and um, I'll just try something here I'm not sure if it's, if it's gonna work or not let's give it a trial so let me just pick up this guy and I want to draw a shape right here in the middle okay something like that maybe I'll just reduce the stroke thickness this one from 30 to let's say 20 or 15 yeah or maybe 20 should be fine I guess good so now what I want to do is I actually want to delete this top area so let me just pick up the path selection tool I can just pick up not path selection tool I need to select the direct selection tool select that and delete it it's gonna say yes and yes there you go so now if I just zoom in by pressing control and plus there you go I can just adjust these two points a little bit further down I'm gonna select both of them I'll press shift key and use the down arrow key tool that's it there you go that's exactly what we wanted now um, we might want to make this top to be a bit rounded like what we are seeing there and for doing so I can just select these um, these points here and go up here to the stroke options and the caps I can keep it as rounded yes so that's exactly what we wanted if you think it's not as thick as it should be maybe I can just make this 25 yeah I think that's good uh, and maybe we can also pull them apart so let's say I'll select these two points and use my arrow key just to move two points okay and I can also do the same thing for these guys just two points I think that's good enough and maybe it's not connected properly I can just adjust these guys just to avoid that little gap that was found earlier good so that looks nice let's just add these two circles here so I'll just go to ellipse tool um, I'm just gonna add one here I'll press shift key to make sure that it is a perfect circle we don't need a stroke here I can make it transparent but I want to make that fill color to be proper there if you want you can actually use the guides to place him exactly in the uh, same place I'm just gonna do it uh, arbitrarily so I'll just make a duplicate of this layer down here this eye and press shift key and move so that it actually moves in the same um, straight line I can just select both of them now by using shift key I'm gonna place him right there looking good now what I want to do is I want to create the uh, nose so that's the last step I can just create a perfect circle here and move him exactly there so that looks right in the middle and maybe I'll make it a bit bigger I'm using the alt key to make sure that it is becoming bigger in the uh, from the center so I'll press enter now just to finalize and one last thing that we need to do is we need to just select only this top one and move it up using the arrow key so when I press the arrow key it says the operation will turn a live shape into a regular path that is fine I'm gonna say yes and I could just pull this up nice and if you want you can actually pull these two guys a little bit to the right and the left so there you go we'll pull this guy in the same distance right there perfect so there's a little bit of difference in terms of uh, the way I have pushed this a little bit further down so those things you can adjust to get the exact result that you wanted so now once all that is done I'm going to select all those groups uh, all those layers and I'm going to make them into a group so I'm going to say my skull not exactly my skull but <laughs> my design skull okay so I can actually press control T to scale all of them together and I can just put one circle just behind it 
just to finish off the entire design. So let's say I'll make this red. Then again, I'm going to start from the center here. There you go. It's not exactly in the center, and it actually covered up everything. So I'll just bring this down below that layer. That's too dark of a red. Maybe I'll just pick this exact red. So there you go. So now, one last thing that I want to do is I want to move this a uh, little bit right to the center, and I am done. So that's how we create a skull shape in Photoshop. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more interesting tutorials. Have a nice day.